So, what's all this about you people bad-mouthing the infested nipple tassels, hmm? You need to leave the box alone. It's fantastic. I made a video about it not too long ago and it was... Oh. I guess it's time for a revisit then. These festering sacks of pus and gas burst violently on impact with a lovely description. The box are essentially just throwing knives, but they leave behind a toxin cloud, kind of like the torrid. They have very low crit chance, good status, and they do pure toxin damage. They're available from the biolab in the dojo, and while they do require fully built mutagen masses as well as some nitrogen extract, it's not too bad. Oh wow, mutation in a mozzarella. Yeah, that's a 2017 build, all right. Let's get it a die. I don't have any. In law, Tishin, I require one of your secondary adapters. I don't have enough essence. What do we have? Capture. That'll do. You know, Tishin, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I don't know how I feel about taking life or death advice from you. There it is. Let's start off with Merciless. Diffusion. Lethal Torrent. Let's get some Viro in there. Will this combine? It will combine with the Toxin. That's unfortunate. Let's try electricity. Yeah, that's a decent enough ratio. Oh, of course. Big boom. Where is Sure Shot? Does it drain 7? I thought it drains 9. I could just type it in, but that would make too much sense. It does drain 7, I'll be damned. Well, there goes the rest of my plat, but we will absolutely need mutation for this. Hmm. Well, an expel mod would make the most sense in terms of damage here. Or I could run Stunning Speed. 0.6 second reload. Now that's sexy. Let's be reasonable here. Look at all the viral procs. That is ridiculous. Would make more sense to use this against the corpus though. That is very good. It's not quite as much damage as the castanas, but you also don't have to detonate it manually, which makes it feel infinitely better. So I think this is a good starting point, but I do want to try it in a normal mission as well. Not gonna lie, I don't have much bad to say about this. It's pretty solid, does good AoE, but it's not really doing it for me. So I think we're gonna try something else, because we've already done this with the Castanas. So let's keep this as config B, and let's try something else. Okay, so here's the idea. We run an empowered, focused mech special, so radiation, corrosive, and heat, and we don't actually run any damage on the weapon. We just let Empowered do its thing. Diffusion, Torrent, let's get Corrosive in there. Scorch for Heat, Accelerated Isotope, which also gives us some Fire aid. What else? Just Fulmination for now, I guess. This is a bit of a problem. We don't have the right polarity, so let's try this out. And if it's any good, we're going to reformat this. Back to Grenier we go. Please be good. I really want this to be good. Yo. Wait, wait, oh my god, oh my god, the clouds, are the clouds, oh my god, the clouds are proking empowered. Well, time to form us some stuff. Let's get a blessing. Oi, stop, I get your own pus-filled plague sacks. Why is it so bright? We actually have enough capacity to where we don't need to form this, and we can actually fit in a fully ranked pistol... We can actually do primed pistol armor mutation even. Fantastic! Let's see how this scales into steel path. This is awesome. I want to see this with Harold. Let's also add napalm so we see how this does against alloy armor. Oh my god! This is amazing! Oh my- I'm so glad this works! This is so good! Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes, you're a good boy. Let's have some fun. Dude, this is amazing. Like, the damage is great, it's fun to use, you get the clouds as well, and there is no ramp up. At all. Yeah, the single target could use a bit of help, like Eximus units are a bit of a bummer, but it's not too bad. Oh, 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 here comes the big boy, who is it? Torment, hello. So, number one priority, keep it in the clouds. That's like the most important thing here. Oh my god, it's shredding it, look at that. You know, as far as like, Status-based builds go. This is pretty damn good. Look at it. It's just melting. Wow. That's actually really nice. Holy hell, that was fast. Let's go. Well, well, well. What do you know? I was right. Again. 
What a shocker. In all seriousness though, the box is actually amazing. It's better than ever thanks to all the new stuff that we've gotten over the years. The box might actually be my new favorite throwing weapon. It's really fun. Now it does require a lot of investment because you need empowered and you're gonna need a bunch of galvanized mods and you will have to invest 4 mine into it. But if you're willing to put that in, I would highly recommend it. Are there weapons that do more with less? Yes, absolutely. There almost always are. But if you either want to be a bit of a hipster or you want to use something different, something unique, something cool, go for it. And as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.